before delving into this video, I want to shout out my friends David and Mary Ellen over at Order of the Green Hand. They very graciously retweeted my Melisandre death theory video, and because of that, the video got way more views than it would have otherwise, and I'm extremely grateful to them. I'm sure all of you are already subscribed to their channel, but on the off chance you aren't, get subscribed. They put out some of the best content on YouTube, you won't regret it. In a previous video, I explored the idea that Cersei's faith in Kyburn could be misplaced and that we could see him betray her. In that video, I postulated that Kyburn could be loyal to another His Grace, Rob Stark or Oberyn Martell, and that Kyburn is biding his time until the most opportune moment to get justice for the one he's truly loyal to and that Kyburn might have entered into an alliance with Varys to achieve his goal of justice. Season 8 has only deepened my suspicions. In Episode 1, we saw Kyburn recruit Bronn on Cersei's behalf to murder Tyrion and or Jaime should they survive the battle at Winterfell, and Bronn is to rid Cersei of her brothers by way of a crossbow on account of her keen sense of poetic justice. For the successful completion of his task, Cersei will reward Bronn beyond his wildest dreams, according to Kyburn. The scene ends with Kyburn exiting the room and Bronn staring at the crossbow contemplatively. Now, you could look at this scenario and determine something like this would be right up Cersei's alley. The way she killed Tyene was quite poetic, and wanting her brothers dead isn't shocking. She's wanted Tyrion dead since he was born, and Jaime has now left her to fight alongside her enemies, albeit in a different war, not the war against her. But Cersei wouldn't see it that way. If you aren't with her, you're against her. No exceptions. Despite all that, Cersei hiring Bronn seems strange. Just last season, in episode 5, Cersei wanted Jaime to punish Bronn for arranging the meeting with Tyrion. In fact, Cersei's exact words were, Are you going to punish him? And when Jamie asked who she was talking about, she said, Bronn, he betrayed you. He set up a meeting without your knowledge or consent. So we're to believe that Cersei now wants to do deals with that guy? We're to believe that Cersei is entrusting a task of such high magnitude to someone she considers untrustworthy, someone she wanted punished for lying? That doesn't make sense to me, not to mention the fact that Cersei had the chance to murder both Tyrion and Jaime in Season 7, but chose not to. If she wanted them dead, why not have done it then while she's there to witness the murders and ensure they're completed and there's no one that can run interference? No, we're to believe she'd rely on a sellsword she doesn't trust to execute her brothers away from King's Landing where she can't verify Bronn actually did anything. That sort of decision-making is what will screw Cersei over with regards to Davos in the books. There, she ceded Davos' execution to Wyman Manderley instead of having Davos sent to King's Landing for Sir Illyn to kill. Lord Wyman killed someone else in Davos' stead and sent Davos to get Rickon Stark and Shaggy Dog and smuggle them back into Wyman's custody so he, Wyman, can thwart Ruse Bolton, the Lannister-appointed Warden of the North. Show Cersei is far too shrewd to make that type of mistake, especially since she's making it a point to think as her father would in order to defeat Danny. Moreover, I don't think Cersei is involved here, at least not knowingly. I have a suspicion that Kyburn set Cersei up and hired Bronn of his own volition, knowing full well that Bronn would never do what Kyburn had asked him to, that Bronn even arranged the meeting between Tyrion and Jaime shows he's loyal to both Lannister brothers, not to mention the fact that Bronn has remained in Jaime's service despite the fact that he hasn't really been getting paid and in fact has had things rescinded. Kyburn would know all of this. Working off my suspicion, 
I would say Kyburn's intent wasn't for Braun to use the crossbow for murder. It was to be used as a tool to sow division. I think Kyburn expects Braun to expose the murder for hire, and in so doing, strip Cersei of the last ally she has left, Jaime. And no, I don't count Euron as an ally because Euron's only ally is Euron. Without Jamie, Cersei would be at her most vulnerable, and thus would be the opportune moment Kyburn has been waiting for, allegedly. In my Who's His Grace video, I put forth that Kyburn's vengeance for His Grace could entail having the mountain kill Cersei. I still think that's a possibility. However, in light of the scene with Bronn, I wonder if Kyburn was hoping the murder for hire plot would be an impetus for one of Cersei's brothers to kill her. Or at minimum, he wouldn't be mad if it was an unintended consequence. Allegedly. If all of this is true, something else needs addressing. The Varys Factor. In my Who's His Grace video, I noted that a kyburn varus alliance may well exist. The choice of a crossbow for a murder weapon for the sake of poetic justice connects to the books and Varys. In the A Dance with Dragons epilogue, Varys uses a crossbow to murder Kevin Lannister because Tywin was murdered with one. In fact, Varys' exact words on the matter are, I thought the crossbow fitting. You shared so much with Lord Tywin. Why not that? Additionally, as I predicted could be the case with the show, Varys was using the crossbow to sow discord amongst people to make someone else's conquest easier. Here's that quote. I thought the crossbow fitting. You shared so much with Lord Tywin. Why not that? Your niece will think the Tyrells had you murdered mayhaps with the connivance of the imp. The Tyrells will suspect her. Someone somewhere will find a way to blame the Dornishmen. Doubt, division, and mistrust will eat the very ground beneath your boy king, whilst Aegon raises his banner above Storm's End and the lords of the realm gather round him. So, because a kyburn varus alliance might exist, and because of Varys' connection to crossbows being used to murder Lannisters, I wonder if Varys is pulling the strings and instructed Kyburn to put the contract on Jaime and Tyrion, utilizing a hitman he knows won't complete the job, to eat the ground beneath Cersei, to reprime Westeros for Danny's conquest which would square with Kyburn's alleged desire for vengeance in the name of his grace Robb Stark, whose enemy would be Cersei. Now, I realize that at this point in the book, or at, in the books, it's an actual murder that will sow the discord, but in the show, a full-blown murder at this stage isn't necessary to achieve the desired goal, although I suppose it wouldn't hurt. The plot itself will suffice. As I touched on earlier, an unintended consequence of the plot could be one of the brothers killing Cersei, which is just as well if Kyburn and Varys' ultimate endgame is Cersei's destruction. I wouldn't be opposed to that outcome, especially if Jaime was the brother in question. It would bring his scorn for Tyrion killing Tywin full circle, because now Jamie would understand what it's like to have no other recourse but murder because someone, a family member, will never stop trying to kill you. And we know persistence is a trait Cersei inherited from Lord Tywin, so ain't no way she's ever going to stop. I wouldn't even be mad if Jamie used the crossbow because the show left the Valonqar prophecy out of Maggie the Frog's scene. Maybe even, as a nod to the books, Jamie shoots Cersei with the crossbow and says, I thought the crossbow fitting. You had so much in common with Father. Why not that? Granted, his having one hand might prevent him from utilizing the crossbow, and he may just choke her out with one of the chains on her dress or something. 
Either way, the dynamic with Tyrion would be brought full circle and Kyburn and Varys' ultimate goal would be met. Although I'm inclined to think Kyburn would want to be more directly involved due to the vengeance he wants for Rob, allegedly. Speaking of Kyburn, it's possible that he too may have a keen sense of poetic justice, which could have inspired the choice to use a crossbow. At the Red Wedding, what's the first thing that happened to Rob Stark during the attack? He was shot with a crossbow. How on earth Kyburn would know that, I couldn't say. Maybe he heard Tywin and Cersei talk about it. If things are as I've alleged, and Kyburn is actually loyal to Rob Stark, as improbable as it might be for Kyburn to have knowledge of the specifics of the Red Wedding, it would be one hell of a move on Kyburn's part. Once again, this is all alleged. We don't know that Kyburn is loyal to Rob Stark, though I happen to think he could be. We don't know if an alliance with Varys exists, or if they're both independently working towards Cersei's downfall. But what I do know is Cersei wanting to work with Bronn makes no sense. So it wouldn't surprise me if Kyburn enlisting Bronn in the hit on Jaime and Tyrion was done on his own accord. What do you guys think though? Is Kyburn scheming against Cersei here? Did Cersei hire Bronn? Could Varys be involved? Let us know down in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe for more content. I'm Ashley of Noth. Thank you for watching.